Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Liverpool Career Mode here on FIFA 19. Right, well as you can see December is very, very packed. Um, the, the awful week is uh, week two here with this with three games there in a seven day period. I mean, uh, they still haven't got this fixed. Why? I do not know. I mean, it's quite simple, isn't it? Like, you know, when you when you look back at like, you know, like in November there, you know, there's, there's plenty of of, of scope to, to have moved some games into that um, there's probably even more uh, scope to, to move into January but no gotta have them all in December like I mean it's just yeah crazy but anyway that's that's you know an issue but you know we're not we're not here about that because we could be here all day we're talking about issues regarding um, FIFA 19 or FIFA in general like you know what I mean but anyway we, we start off with a, um, a Carabao Cup quarter final um, against Leeds and then we um, have got Bournemouth in the Premier League, and then we've got a Champions League um, group match um, against Napoli, and then we finish off with a tough game against Burnley in the Premier League as well. So, I mean, the two Premier League games you probably see are not not as you know high profile or whatever. No disrespect to those clubs, but you, you can understand why. Um, but we have got two cup games in here. Well, I mean, you see that's a cup game, but I mean. To be fair, like in a, it's a group group match or whatever, but we're already qualified in that one, so I could probably rest some players in in that um, um, with regards to obviously the Burnley game, and then obviously we got Manchester United, which will come in like you know Friday's episode. You know, I mean, which is going to be a, a huge one with the fact that we've got Everton um, in that one as well. I'm hoping that that one's going to get moved but I can't see that that Burnley match is going to get moved any anytime soon but if it does whatever then obviously today's episode will slightly change a little bit but at the moment as we start off that is what is happening so without further ado then let's go and take on Leeds with our um, sort of like you know second string side and um, that's what they're going to be doing in the Carabao Cup and see how far they can get in it doing all right up to now like I say quarterfinals so here we go against Leeds United so two lineups and um, they're playing like you know it's like five across the midfield so that's going to be interesting with four at the back so they're, they're playing very defensive I mean they're obviously away from home so they're playing a very defensive with that deep lying um, Phillips there at, um, at CDM but yeah it's, it's going to be maybe a bit tricky to maybe break them down and stuff like that but we'll, we'll give it our best shot that's all we can do and um, as you can see my side is um, slightly different and um, with um, obviously the, the reserve sort of you know, players coming in there and giving them a chance to to run around and, and, and see what they can show and stuff like that and whether they can possibly keep a place in this squad as, as seasons move forward but um, yeah so let's crack on then see how we get on in the Carabao Cup. Anfield and Light always looks um, amazing doesn't it? It's just, I think any stadium at night, it just gives it with the floodlights, it just gives something about it. We're going to have a, a cold snap in the air with it being December and stuff, and you can see Adam Lallana there just breathing and seeing the, the, the air um, um, coming out there. So, but yeah, let's see um, if that's not going to affect us too much. So we did um, really well in the last game um, against PSG, absolutely destroyed them in Paris. So I'm hoping that that form it runs throughout the squad all right not forward by Klein Markovic now getting a, a rare run out in a Liverpool shirt Klein now gonna whip this to the far side Neres is coming in and that is a great start great ball in David Neres just able to stick his toe in and but a good ball in from Nathaniel Klein here oh just just in Oh, that was so close to hitting the post. Just squeezes that one in. Nicely done. Right, what can we do from this corner now? James Milner to whip that in. Great ball, Lalana. The overheads. Uh, in the game. I don't, I'm not holding L2 to, to doing it. it you just you just literally just go for the shot and it, and, it, and for some weird reason in, in FIFA 19 they decided that overhead kicks are the way to go I don't this is is it to do with you know the fact that Ronaldo scored one against Juventus um, or whether it was to do with Gareth Bale scoring against us in the Champions League final but they seem to love this overhead I mean what is the keeper doing there I don't know but it's hit him squarely in the chest and he's just sort of threw his arms up in the air maybe into Markovic 
Mukovic to Daniel Sturridge. It's the post and Neres gets his second. What is this goalkeeper on? It came <laughs> back to him off the post and I thought, oh, it must, he must have caught it. It must be in his hands. Um, but, oh no, it's hit him. He didn't really know. Let him off. He didn't really know much about this, actually. But, Neres has got his second for a corner. So, another corner coming in. It's Lalana. This time it's a header. And Markovic. All he had to do was just chest it into the goal. Wow. So, made a change at half time and decided to take Markovic off um, and give um, Camacho a go out on the right wing. He can play there. Um, and not just put him there just to annoy Markovic. He can play out there. So, I just thought. I'll give Camacho a go out there, you know, with 3 0 up. Give him a, a chance, you know, more game time for him. Just trying to hold off the plate. There is now. Oh, great feet. There is. Bang. That's Lalana's second. Just really good feet from Neres. Um Because he's got those quick feet, he's able to get past players so much easier. And he's just. Just a little turn there, just takes the defender away and Lana's in so much space in the middle. That's four. Here's Klein. Great ball forward here. Daniel Sturridge. Going to go across. Oh, Neres on four. His hat-trick, but what a great save. Keeper's had a bit of a nightmare today, but this one, yeah, just gets a hand on it. Otherwise, Neres would have picked up his first Liverpool hat-trick. So, corner ball, Milner played in from Millie. Defended well. Didn't really go to anyone, that. He's actually a game, that's where James Milner was, when he? he was at Leeds when he first sort of started his career and stuff, so I think he's, he's actually from Leeds himself, so interesting game for James Milner, that one. But semi-finals awaits. Leeds didn't really cause us that many problems, to be fair, in that one. We're the strongest side left in it, aren't we, realistically? We should should be winning this Carabao Cup. I've done a bit of um, dealings in the transfer window. Um, they're not over the line just yet. I've got the deals accepted. I'm just waiting for the contracts to come in. And um, so I've spent pretty much the whole of the budget. I've got, only got like about um, one and a half million left. <laughs> I've spent like nearly 200 million. Um, well, it was about 180 something million or whatever it was like. I mean, that was spent on these players. So yeah, you can imagine um, the sort of what how much these players are going to be um, but I've also got all three of them from the same club enough of the the sort of like clues and stuff like that these are the players that I've managed to, to, to sort out which I think I've sorted out because obviously I, once they're like signed you can you can kind of sort, sort the wages out and stuff like that but these are the players that are coming to the side now I did need I said I needed maybe a, a cam player to play in the cam role I did say that I probably needed a, a centre back to play alongside um, Van Dyke, you know, someone of uh, you know that that's up, uh, you know, around his sort of standard. Um, I did say about a right back. I couldn't afford a right back, but I've also brought in a, a young player that is doing really well on a friend of the channels, which is Lex. He's got him at his like on his save or whatever, um, and he says he's he's really a, a good player. So I've also brought him as well. So these are the players that I've managed to bring in. They are Vinicius Junior from Real Madrid. They are. Isco from Real Madrid and they are Rafael Varane from Real Madrid. Yes, I have gone big guys, like, I mean, we've got these three in. Uh, Vinicius Junior, yeah, like I say, um, he has got amazing stats, like, as you can see just here, like, I mean, um, so that is, is, is a bit, I was looking at him anyway, wasn't I, but I've decided, yes, I'll do it. I'm going to play his release cause, bring him in, um, and... Yeah, I mean, I know I've got David Neres as well, like, sort of thing, but... I mean, Shakiri's okay, do you know what I mean? But I just thought, you know, I don't know. It's one of them, I'm like, eh, do you know, do I keep Shakiri or do I bring in someone that's, like, you know, got the potential to be a lot better, like, sort of thing. So, we've got Vinicius Jr. now, we've got Isco, who's going to play in that cam role, which is going to make our front three become a front four now, with, with Isco in there, like, you know what I mean? We, we obviously... We're looking to replace Coutinho at some point, and I think Esco is more than 
uh, just a better player than Coutinho is anyway. Like you know what I mean. And then obviously Rafael Varane, um, yeah, um, is going to play alongside um, Van Dijk. You know, I mean, he's he's got the pace and stuff like um, which is is always um, like handy to have. But he's just got amazing stats as well. So yeah, um, cost a lot of money, um, but. I think they they are pretty good signings to be honest. Um, I have still got some players that are on on the, on the list. You know what I mean? Um, I, I mean the goalkeeper. I don't know. Maybe Kelleher. I mean he's up to like seventy now. I mean he's, he's, he's he is flying up. Like you know what I mean? Um, maybe I'll just keep Kelleher as my backup keeper and keep Allison for the time being. Like you know what I mean? Um, rather than and going for something. Now I was looking at these two as my possible right backs: Smedo and Cancelo. At the end of the day, they're not going to be coming until the um, August, like you know, the summer transfer window now because I've, I've not got the money. So, out of these two here, I mean, obviously I'm waiting for the scout reports to come back. You guys can obviously you'll probably know what the, what their stats are and stuff like that anyway. But out of Cancelo and out of Semedo, which right back do you think um, I should bring in? There we go, guys. Um, now we need to to go and take on Bournemouth. So, two sides um, here, uh, as you can see, a um, couple of players like, for Bournemouth, especially the front sort of two there with Defoe and Lauren, like, not not exactly um, fully fit going into this one, are they? Stanislaus a little bit off and so Smith, um, so we're looking at maybe going down that side, so that's going to be um, a, sort of a good area to, to maybe like exploit, you know what I mean, with their like, fitness and stuff like that, so it's interesting um, to see um, how we get on and um, but yeah they've got kind of five across the midfield but it's, it's probably four with a one and then one like you know what I mean but yeah um but if you look at the center backs they're very much spread apart so there's a massive gap through that middle that we can maybe um chance for maybe Shakiri to um, and Bobby Firmino to like you know exploit that area but we'll, we'll see on this one and um, but Every time I played Bournemouth um, in the past, like on FIFA 18 and stuff like that, Begovic has always played amazing. So try and get past him, like you know, I mean, it's going to be um, more of the <laughs> the, the tricky um, scenario, like you know, what I mean. But we'll see how we get on then um, as we take on Bournemouth. Bit more. Okay, that's a weird cross. Uh, Handed this out to Trent. Is Salah just saying with them cross. being more tired? Oh, chance! Come on! Oh, he's trying to. Oh. Penalty. I mean, <laughs> that was the weirdest. What on earth? <laughs> what on earth was going on? Keeper and defender. Look at the man. He's <laughs> just like, <laughs> like a game of Twister or something. That was just the most bizarre penalty situation. It came. It was a long looping cross from Salah. Caught Begovic out. But anyway, um, here's Fabinho. Blasts it and sends Begovic the wrong way. So <laughs> we're off and running, but at weird. So weird. It was a great sort of deep cross from Salah to pick Mane out. Or trying to pick Mane out, I should say. It, it, it caught Begovic out. It also caught a defender out. Those two collided. <laughs> it sort of bounced off him. Manny's trying to like stab it in, like to get over the top of them, and he gets lifted up in the air by the two. <laughs> just bizarre, so bizarre. But well done to Fabinho. Shakiri's trying to win that. Okay, here's Lerma. Got inside. Oh, it's a, oh, and Stanislas hits the. I'm gonna say he's caught us out there, but Stanislas, we got away with one. He's hit the post. Cater surging forward. Can he get? That's a great ball. Salah gonna hit the. I didn't want it to go there. I wanted to hit it harder to get it to Bobby in the middle, but it it wasn't. He just played it straight to Fabinho, and I wanted it to come to to Bobby, who was in a better position. Trent gets it back inside. Keita, Shakiri, nice turn. Oh, hits Mings. Thought we could maybe go in it, you know, with a two 0 lead, but crowd are not happy. Oh, fans are saying that it wasn't a penalty. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. I mean, you, you could argue the fact that it wasn't a penalty because realistically, 
But he'll he'll say it was obstruction. That's what he'll put it down to. I think you know that's what the, the penalty would be awarded for. That's what I can see. Right, Everton are nil nil against Watford. Okay. Chance here can Trent pick someone out. It's gone for Mane, but Smith was there. It's going to fall to Cater, who lays it into Shakiri. Oh, and it's going to fall to Bobby, and he just, just gets that in. Bobby in the right place at the right time there, and he has just literally just passed it into the net. Sometimes you don't have to blast him. Cater wants this. Cater has been very lively in this midfield, which has been great for me this afternoon. Fabinho now. Cater. See Salah. What can Salah do? He's gone for the far side. Oh. And Shakiri. But Begovic gets. See Shakiri coming. It's a tight angle. But Begovic just just puts his body in the way and hopefully it hits something. But looks like is that Defoe going off there? Right. Uh, we'll go a bit further back here. All men are kind of. Picked up here. Oh, Mane! <gasps> that would have been an awesome goal. Oh, my God. I've hit the post again, but... Wow. I didn't expect him to do an overhead from there. Oh, my God. That would have been the best overhead. That would have been the best of the bunch. I mean, that was just... Wow. See that Bournemouth are pushing further up and maybe getting caught at the back here. Here's Shakiri now into Bobby. Is he onside? Outside the goalkeeper's... That. Onside. Okay. Sorry, I was so quiet because I'm. I didn't know if he was onside or not. There. And you get a good ball in. It's gone deep to find Salah. He's found Salah, and that is number four. Good away win. Controversial penalty? I don't know. You guys decide in the comments whether it was controversial or not. Well, they had three shots in the end. I thought maybe there was just the one, but look how many we had. I mean. Didn't have, you know, a massive amount of possession, but the amount of shots we were able to, to generate, but unfortunately, only 11 of them were on, on target. But looks like Sadio Mane is going to pick up Man of the Match by the looks of it. So, some exciting news, guys. Yes, all three have accepted their contracts. We've got um, Isco accepting a crucial four-year deal with 290,000 a week. And we've got Varane, crucial five-year, 190,000 a week. And then we've got Vinicius Jr., who wants to be a sporadic player for five years, and he's on 60,000. Also sold um, Milner to Olympic Lyon um, there for 20 mil. Um, so that's that. We've got Nate Phillips is going to go out on loan for a, a year to West Brom, which I think actually will do him um, pretty good, actually, sort of thing. So, but yes, we have um, Napoli, and that is what is now coming up, guys. So here are the um, two lineups. As you can see, um, Napoli um, have gone with the, obviously their strongest side. They've still technically got a small chance of, of, of still qualifying. Um, it all depends on whether the Swedes are able to beat PSG. But if they've done some kind of like, you know, dodgy dealings with, you know, betting and stuff like that, then who knows? Like, because yes, I don't know if any of you know, like, but yeah, Red Star Belgrade are, are under the investigation that the game that they played in where the PSG 161 um, was apparently fixed. Um, so it's to do with match fixing because there was a huge bet of, I think it was like 5 million euros or something for. Red Star to be beaten by five goals or something like that. I think that's what the the actual thing is. Like, you know what I mean, but yeah, if that comes about and it is proved, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, we're already qualified. It would be nice to get a win, but I, I've got I've got the Burnley game like literally within two days, so I need I need um, like m my main players ready for for the Burnley game. So that's the reason why. So here we go then. Cuts it down inside. Curtis Jones coming across to Fabian. It's not bad, Milner's there, does well. Oxley chamberlain gets this away to Adekanye. Can he time the pass? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, if that's something, you know, training ground, work on it. Chamberlain inside here. Not the best ball to Akanji, but managed to get away with it. Curtis James does well. Robertson now has got David Neres in behind here. Can he get a good ball? Oh, dear. What was that? Didn't think that was a free kick. That was a bit... It's the thing with these European referees, they can be a bit so Oh, my word. Dries Mertens there with a curl shot. Keller has totally beaten. Um, it hits the post. So. Oh, and he's giving it away to Mertens. Well, I'll say giving it away, but... Oh, we're not going to get this. No. It's in. Just couldn't try... I knew he was, if he could get 
a clear chance it was going to go in. Um, tried to slide him, I think, with the ox or whatever, and missed it, missed the challenge. Um, yeah, it's just quality, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? I slid that. It's just, it's just, it's just when you look at it like that, it's a poor slide tackle. It's Mertens again, need to get it away from him. Chamberlain gets something on it, but oh, they're just knocking it around. When they do that, you can't do anything about it. Has to go back to Milner. Back to Jones. Maybe this time, you know, Koulibaly's there. Adekanye gets it in. There is. Yes. Is he onside? No, he's offside. Adekanye. Chamberlain plays it through to Jones. And it's Neres. This is in, surely. Lovely through ball. And Neres outside the foot. Top corner. Nice. Back in it. Just before our time as well. Great time to get it. Jones went a press tackle, but he decided to run away. All right. Adekanye now. Trying to get... That's a great ball. It's Neres. Surely. Yes. What a ball from Adekanye. Oh, wow, I didn't think we had enough time to get another, but we have. David Neres, he wasn't getting his crosses in, but he's certainly getting his shoots in, his goals in. Wow. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition what a through ball that is. Takes it down superbly, like and boom. Adekanye wants it. He'll get it at the second attempt. Here he is, Adekanye. It's gone for Neres. Oh, surely, yes. Second attempt again, and David Neres has literally just got himself a hat-trick. Wow. Well, we'll <laughs> Unbelievable. Out of Kanye here. Kicks him out. The, the, the defender didn't know nothing about that. It just hit him, well, like, and then goal, he was just we? the quickest react as he just, like, you know, hits it, and luckily it goes in off the post because he nearly put it wide. All right, Andy Robertson. Milner. To Milner, just lays it into Neres. Neres now Can finds Curtis Jones. Finds a can a can the It's a good ball. It's Daniel Sturridge. It's for Adekanye now. It's gone for it again. It's Sturridge. Oh, and Neres. Oh, oh, he's done well and really well. And Klein now. Chance. It's the it's Neres with his fourth. Wow. Exactly what they were looking for. <laughs> Adekanye on that wing has just had a an amazing game. He takes the ball from Andy Robertson, brings it down, then does a back heel down the line to bring Klein in, and then Klein. Well, it wasn't a back heel, was it? But you know what I mean. And great ball in, and Neres, bang. Milner now, just knocks it forward into Jones, Adekanye is surging forward, is he going to pick anyone out, Neres is coming in, he's got another one, wow, oh my word, I don't think I've ever had a player that scored five in a match, I'm not sure. Maybe I have, I don't know. But it's it's all from other Kanye and then Neres. He's just quicker to react than the defender. The defender's just not realising that he's here. And, well, into storage. Sees Jones. Other Kanye nearly, but not to worry. Wow. The youngsters... Um, say youngsters B team have done fantastic I mean but five from this young man here wow I mean we didn't have that many attempts eight shots on target and six of them have actually gone in the back of the net so we didn't have that many but Napoli were only able to get one of their shots on target I mean they have five you know what I mean but only that one that's gone on target from Dries Mertens but David Nellis deserves his 10 out of 10 so this is how the um, the group ended up finishing. Um, as you can see, we're top of the top of the tree with there's just that one draw which we did against obviously PSG in our first game, but then we seemed to get our act together. 25 goals that we scored, we only conceded five in the end. Um, 
crazily, three of those like that we conceded were against the Swedes. I'm gonna need my full side for that one. That's that's the big one. So this is gonna have to be a half full side. If that makes sense. It's gonna be a mixture of this one, I think, against Burnley, but that is what is to come, guys. Burnley's up next. So then, here we are to finish off um, today's episode with a, another Premier League game, and this time against Burnley. Uh, playing, I'd say, I was probably looking at that, you'd say that there's five across the midfield, four at the back, so it's going to be, as we expect from a Burnley side, really difficult to break down and stuff like that. Um, tend to score a lot of their goals, especially against like the bigger sides, um, from like sort of set pieces and maybe a, a counter attack of some sort, but they, they, they try to defend first before attack, that's their, their, their sort of kind of mentality, which is understandable. So still get three points from this one, um, but it's going to be a tough one, but we'll see how we get on. So here we go then, against Burnley. So Robertson down the line, picks up Mane, you pick anyone out in the middle, Shakiri. oh he's at the post, wow, Firmino, it's there, wow, so, the way that Burnley didn't close Bobby down there, that they were thinking there was some kind of a offside or something, I don't know what was going on there, they just didn't come out to like close me down quick enough. I think they were shocked that it, it hit the post. Oh, it's that clearance there. That's what it was. Number two, I'm not sure entirely who that is, but he's gone to clear it and he scuffed it. It's gone straight to Bobby Firmino and I think the rest of the Burnley defenders were kind of shocked by the whole situation. It's played down. I think it's Adam Lallana here. He's going to clip this across and Bobby Firmino's in for his second and he's there. Wow. Too easy that was. We just literally just went straight down the wing, played it in, wasn't cut out. Bobby Firmino, easy tap in, and that's number 18. Burnley just haven't played like the Burnley I'm expecting them to be like, you know what I mean? They've just not been the usual sort of selves. I don't know, it's just been a weird game, this one. We'll take 2 0 going into half time, that's fine. Um, but like I say, uh, Strange, well, Burnley just, I don't know, they seem to be, they're more physical and stuff and they don't well leak away. the two goals that they've leaked, uh, maybe they're just feeling the effects of not doing as well as what they maybe expected um, of the season, maybe that's something, I don't know. Alright, second half then, and win, really. we the, uh, are all the same 22 on the pitch. Well, Cross to Clank, Wijnaldum inside. The opposition passed the ball around in Back to Henderson. Mayfield. Maybe hit this. Well, he's had a goal. Oh my god. How is is that took a deflection? He didn't really hit that that hard. Well, he defied the odds by taking the shot on. That just seemed really weird the way that it went. He's put all his bulk behind this one. Has this took fair, some I don't know. No, it's not took a deflection. You can see he knew it was going in. Or has it? It might have done. It might have done. It might have took a deflection because it just seemed really slow to to have beaten the keeper, Henderson. Got Genie and Aldum now. Maybe go for it. Oh, blocked. Maybe a second attempt. Oh, and that's a great save from Heaton. Has done. Took down well. Still Camacho. Can he pick someone out? No, he can't. Oh dear. But there we go. <laughs> The Premier League, it should keep us still top, obviously. Um, but have any of the other teams played? They have. Everton now slipping down to fourth. Uh, yeah, three points ahead of Newcastle. Uh, Spurs obviously got a game in hand, and so have Everton over Newcastle. So if uh, Spurs were to win, um, well, they're on the same played game, so am I? Yeah. We're actually four point. Technically, I suppose we're four points ahead of Spurs is what we look at. I mean, because I imagine that Spurs, I'd imagine Everton as well. I mean, I know they've gone three um, sort of like results and lost all three. But um, even though Manchester United started off the season quite poorly, they're up into seventh now. So it's going to be an interesting one. They're, they'll definitely want to um, keep their momentum going and try and get themselves into that top four. But we're in a good position right now. We've done well, um, but the amount of goals we've scored is just is crazy. Um, let's have a just quick butchers now. Talking of goals scored, that is just it's insane. That how many that Bobby Firmino has scored. 
doesn't need to be that many in January. There isn't that many in real life. There's no way that you're going to be playing a Champions League match, a match on the Thursday, and then a match on the on the Saturday um, in real life. It just would not happen. Um, but we've got through them, escaped through. We've done well. Like I say, we've got a 4 0 there. We had another 4 0 there. We then had a 6 1. And then to finish off with a 3 0. So um, fantastic there. And like I say, we start off with Manchester United in the next episode. So thank you so much, guys, as always, um, for tuning in. I'll leave it on the, the Premier League table. But thanks so much for tuning in, as always. Thanks for the comments, you know, the likes, the, the views, everything like that. It just means so much, guys. Keep it up. It's great. Uh, I mean, um, I will catch you um, on the next episode. Um, yeah. And you take care. I will catch you if you're around for Malaga on Wednesday. If not, I'll catch you again on Friday and for the next one. And take it easy. I'll catch you next time. Stay from me, Manga Gaming. Signing off. Cheers.